Hello, good morning everyone. I hope everyone's well. Uh, my name is Matthew. Um, I'm part of the, the One Point team, for those of you who are new. Um, we've been running these sessions now. This is our, our 19th, actually. So if you're here for the first time, very warm welcome. And for those that have been coming regularly, a warm welcome back. And the idea came for these meditation sessions uh, a few months ago. Um, when all the chaos started with the lockdown and all that stuff. And a lot of us at one point have a, a regular meditation practice. And we thought it'd be really nice to share some insights about meditation and how to practice effectively with a wider audience. And so One Point Oneness was born. And today um, I'm delighted we have one of the One Point team actually um, facilitating for us. Um, so uh, Gilles, um, if I can ask you to, to join us on, on camera, that would be great. Gilles, Gilles Fernandez is uh, from Lisbon, Portugal, uh, resident of London now. Gilles, passionate software developer, joining One Point in 2007. He's been working in IT for more than 20 years. Gilles loves to deeply explore new ideas he experiments with cutting edge technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence. Gilles' informative insights appear regularly in the blog One Point Signal. With his degree in music and as a skilled violinist, it's fair to say that Gilles has many strings to his bow. He's no stranger to performing both music and also in stage plays. Gilles has been meditating for more than 25 years and loves the stability of mind it brings. Combining IT and meditation, he's helped develop a number of meditation apps so others can benefit from the practice. So, um, Gilles, um, you're going to be cover covering all about thinking more positively with us, I believe. So I'll, I'll hand it over to you. Yeah, thank you very much, Matthew. Um, okay, so uh, I chose this topic because um, you know, uh, I had a New Year's resolution. So very often, you know, during this period of New Year, I think to myself, hmm, what would I like to change in my life? And then uh, the things come up like, oh, change your diet. Oh, uh, you know, learn this or learn that. And this year was really about um, actually change completely uh, the the way I think. And that was really the, the kind of challenge that I wanted uh, for myself. So really at the, at, at the beginning of the year, it was like this, oh yeah, I want to change this <laughs> because um, I feel that I, yeah, I really could need it. And that, um, that, that is something that has been there for a long time. And uh, I, I really noticed that I have some thoughts, thought patterns that are not that good and that I really would like to change yeah and so um, yeah that was my new year's uh, resolution really to change the way I think but uh, what does this mean so um, what does this mean uh, in terms of a big picture uh, it, it is all about changing the quality of your thoughts uh, I mean the, the thoughts can be like, you know, negative, they can be waste thoughts, uh, the thoughts can be kind of useful, uh, or they can really be positive, yeah. And I wanted just to kind of change um, my mental life in terms of having more positive um, thoughts, yeah. And uh, really uh, also changing uh, certain negative thought patterns that I really have, which are riddled with doubt, riddled uh, with um, sometimes fear, insecurity. I still have all of these. So I really wanted to have a deep look at them and kind of root them out. And I wanted to start doing this really deeply this year. So uh, what does this mean? So more in detail, um, more in detail, this means that uh, you have to kind of um, get uh, the positive thinking into your life and this means uh, also in detail that uh, you need to be aware of the moment you need to be in practical terms really know what's happening to you in the moment and uh, when you detect that you are going down the negative thought lane 
then um, you actually have to uh, actually stop uh, the ball rolling and you have to look at yourself, look at what you're doing and uh, change the polarity. Basically, uh, see what's negative and see what is the other side of the coin. So uh, that is something that uh, really, it, it, it's, it's a very kind of useful technique. It's like this technique of, um, I think that you have like three steps. You basically check what, so first of all, you must be aware of what's happening to you in a specific situation that can be, for example, when you're talking to someone or in an interaction with someone um, or interaction with something or some problem. You need to detect, oh, what's happening to myself. Then the second thing that you, you need to, to do is check, oh, something negative is happening to myself, so I need to do something about this. Um, and then what you then need to do is check the feeling that is there check the type of thoughts that you have and if they're really negative try to uh, change them and you know transform them uh, in order to transform them you need to, to choose a direction obviously and the easiest thing to do is typically for example you have uh, thoughts about insecurity or about fear for example uh, you just you know turn them around and what's the opposite of fear it's actually courage and actually use um, your thinking to create lots of thoughts um, you know about courage lots of thoughts about uh, you know you know security safety motivation um, so this this technique has like three steps you you check uh, what's happening so you have to be attentive then you look at yourself then you detect then you change the polarity and then you practice uh, the opposite uh, of uh, what you're feeling there. And um, overall, if, if you actually are a positive thinker, I think if you are really someone who can actually transform the negative, what happens to you in the long run? In the long run, actually, you come closer to the self-sovereign being. You come closer to someone who is actually not a dependent person, who reacts uh, randomly to um, external influences, but someone who actually is a self-sovereign, someone who is really in control. So in the end run is about being this kind of king of yourself. Um, yeah, and so that, that's the ultimate goal of this kind of positive thinking in a sense. Um, I also like to, to think a lot in terms of preventing uh, negative thinking and uh, mitigating negative thinking. So what I talked about is more mitigating what you can actually do when the negative thinking kicks in. So use this kind of three steps technique. So attention, uh, you know, inversion and practice of the positive. Yeah, so this is kind of technique. Uh, and preventing it, how can you prevent the negative thinking? Actually, you can prevent it via meditation. And you can prevent it by preparing yourself for the day. Yeah. And so that's why meditation is so important. Meditation is important because you get this kind of muscle because everything is like something uh, is always related to practice. Yeah. Let's even positive thinking is related to practice. Uh, for example, creating muscles or being flexible in the body has to do with practice. But in the same way, uh, positive thinking is something that is also related to practice. If you don't, don't practice, you're not good at it. So you need to have some time for practice. And this time for practice, uh, you can uh, include in your meditation. So that's uh, why meditation is actually so important. Okay, so um, I think uh, right now, um, we could start with a small meditation session so that we actually can actually practice um, this uh, kind of positive thinking flow. Um, yeah, so, um, so why, why is meditation so really important? It is so important because um, you can, um, okay, like I said, you can practice, uh, but you can really uh, train yourself. Um, you can actually also explore specific um, things. So it's not only because you are going to practice something, it's also because you're going to explore because um, you meditation is both practice, but also like um, some kind of inner exploration. So uh, 
if, if, if you don't have this spirit of exploration, just think about practice, it can become a little bit heavy. It's meditation is about not only practicing, but also discovering something new, um, discovering also um, a new dimension of yourself. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so yeah, no, I think most people who are here actually are meditators already, so <laughs> I'm not saying anything new to them. Uh, but um, yeah, so the idea that, that I have is actually to uh, create a, a chain of uh, positive um, affirmations or thoughts and just stick to them. So uh, in this meditation, I'm going f first to focus on the self. Uh, then uh, after focusing on the self, typically... I try to expand the focus uh, into a, a more wider focus. Uh, then I try also this connection with actually something with the, which is a, an image of perfection. And finally, I come back uh, to the self again. So the journey actually goes from the self to, uh, to some expansion basically to connecting to others, then connecting to the divine, and then connecting back to myself. So, yeah, so meditation is a practice, is a journey, is an exploration. Uh, and it uh, and, and the focus of meditation also kind of shifts, yeah? Okay, so uh, let's start. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start uh, focusing a little bit on the physical, and I sit down comfortably and uh, I relax myself. Yeah, thank you for the light there. Yeah, uh, so, and I start breathing deeply with my tummy. So, and uh, I, I, I try to see um, if I do actually breathe um, in a deep way and uh, yeah so that I am not breathing only with the chest but also from my belly down up, upwards yeah and uh, then I remind myself uh, about one very important thing every I, I see myself uh, you know, I see this physical body as a body full of light. This physical body is actually where I live and it is extremely important. And uh, I see this body uh, at its best, actually. So I see this uh, physical body uh, full of light. I see my face full of light, radiating light, you know, and I see my forehead full of light and full of power. And I remind myself that uh, the, the truth about myself is about a being who is actually completely strong, is full of power, full of strength, and uh, a being who actually is absolutely beautiful. I remind myself about my own beauty, my own power, and that I'm really, uh, a wonderful being and all actually everybody else is also in, in essence also really really wonderful and um, I also remind myself that I don't need anyone and that I'm completely independent and I'm completely powerful no matter where I am but I remind myself that I'm full of power and full of energy and uh, I have everything that I really need so uh, I remind myself about my kind of uh, worth, about my power, about my, you know, kind of, you know, own beauty. Yeah. So I know that I'm absolutely powerful, beautiful, uh, that I am absolutely full of energy, that I am the one who actually spreads contentment. And uh, I remind myself also, and this might be sound a little bit funny, but I really accept myself as I am. I really, you know, forgive myself also. And whatever happened in the past, uh, it's all forgiven. And uh, whatever weaknesses I know about myself, I, I should not be feeling bad about them. 
And uh, I'm a person who is really full, full of power, full, full, full of contentment. And there is actually nothing, really absolutely nothing that can stop me from feeling this power and this contentment and, uh, you know, this absolute love and absolute acceptance for myself. So, um, and uh, I remind, uh, and of course, I'm not an island in this world. And uh, as I accept myself, I also accept others and, uh, you know, as I have good wishes for myself by creating a positive vision of myself of as a very, very strong person, as a person full of power, as a person who is actually capable of everything, who actually, you know, is really a, a full of, you know, all positive qualities. I also uh, try to create the same vision for other people. So um, the truth is that as I bless myself by creating this very, very positive vision about myself, I also bless everyone around me. So I'm, I'm blessing everyone that I know as of now, and I forgive everyone and uh, really I accept everyone I know. And uh, I really am full of good wishes for everyone who I knew in the past. I forgive you and anyone with whom I had conflicts in the past. So I just go now to the past memories and I fill them with light. As in the beginning of the meditation, we saw our own body full of light. Now I go to the past memories. I go to the archives of uh, the soul, which is like whatever I can remember of the past. But also I go to these areas of the past, to these kind of lost areas of the past, which I might have forgotten, but I riddled sometimes with negative feelings. I go there and I imagine how I spread light into these archives of the soul. And I feel these archives of the soul with light. And uh, this means that I bless everyone with whom I had um, any interaction in the past. That it means that I forgive everyone. Uh, with whom I had any problems in the past, that I fill the past with light. And if there is any remorse or bad feelings about myself or bad feelings about someone because something happened in the past, I let go of these bad feelings and I say, I accept, I love, and I, uh, you know, wish everyone in the past, in my archives, I wish myself also all the best. Yeah. So, uh, yes, so this is an exercise that I'm doing. And sometimes some clouds will show up um, when I do this exercise of positivity. I remember, oh, something happened, or no, 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 we are not going to make it. And some doubts are going to pop up. And this is normal. This is completely acceptable. Uh, we know about doubts. We know about, uh, we are experts actually in doubts. We are experts actually in bad feelings and but that's okay so that, that's all okay so if this comes up then I say yeah okay that's all good but now I only have good feelings for everybody I have good feelings for myself I spread this light to the world I spread this light to the past and now I spread this light also to the present now I come to the present and I see everyone around me, every person around me, and I really send good wishes to everyone around me. And uh, I really wish everyone well. I wish that everyone is not only healthy, I wish that everybody is healthy. I wish that everybody uh, is really happy. I wish that everybody has great social interactions. I wish that everyone is very, very successful in all that they do. I wish that everyone is really, uh, you know, reaches their biggest, you know, perfect uh, form. And um, I forgive everyone if I had any problem with someone in the past and I wish everyone well. And, you know, I really, uh, I am a being who actually is always there to elevate other people, to help other people grow, 
to nurture and I'm, I'm the one who is actually there to it, you know elevate everyone around myself everyone that I know today that is there to cooperate and to to give his best in in all conditions to all people and there is also the aspect of the future and uh, how will I be in the future so can I see myself in the future yes now I create this image of the future and I see myself and whoever is the unknown to me basically there are lots of people that I will still meet in the future and with whom ever I come into contact, I will bless these people. So I bless the past, I bless the present, I bless everyone in the past, I bless everyone in the present, and I'm also blessing the unknown. I'm also blessing the ones that I don't know. Uh, everyone who come in contact with me, I will always wish them well. I will always, um, wish that they are successful. I will always uh, be there to kind of support. So I'm a being of blessings and I bless uh, all people in all aspects of um, the time of the timeline that I can be in. So I bless the past, I bless the present and I bless the future. And so this is about, um, you know, being a being full of light this is about being a being full of power someone who is actually always motivating someone who is always uh, there to elevate someone who is there always uh, courageous and ready to be creative uh, and there to you know give power to everyone and uh, i also know one thing if some negative thing will come to me I'm able to transform that. So it means that I'm not only the one who is there blessing, but also the one who is there transforming. So I can help myself to transform. I can help myself to, you know, give power. Uh, I'm, I'm there able to, you know, whenever something negative comes to me, I'm the one who is actually there to transform. And, uh, what I'm trying to do, there is someone who is already very good at all these things up there. And uh, there is some kind of being uh, who actually uh, is actually perfect. Actually, it's a being who is actually a complete self sovereign. And uh, this being is like a, a prototype, like um, the big example, the big kind of template. Uh, and uh, this being is absolutely always constantly full of love. This is a completely, per it's, a, it's a being with a personality. And this being, this, the personality of this being is absolutely strong, is always strong, is always full of power, is always full of love, is always full of contentment, is always extremely creative, doesn't even know what fear is because everything or insecurity even. It, it, it's a being that is, as you can imagine, is, is just completely this, uh, this streamlining of everything that is actually positive. And this being is so full of power, is so full of love, is so full of creativity, is so full of security. It's uh, abso absolutely streamlined. So whoever comes in real contact with this being also um, is like touch like like uh, this is like a touchstone type of being it transforms you he transforms you so uh i'm just at the end of the meditation just connecting to this uh, being of light yeah because this being of light is actually the absolute positivity is the in his think his thinking is also absolute perfect there is nothing but light in the thinking of this being and this being is just about motivating. It's just about give, giving power. And it, it is the complete embodiment of positivity. So um, this being, um, I connect to this being, I connect to his power so that uh, we kind of get uh, similar. So, so that uh, we, that I can transform myself, that I, my thinking, that my being, my feeling 
kind of get streamlined to what this being has already. So I am a being of light. I am a completely positive being. I am a being full of power. I'm a completely self-empowered being. In the end, at the end of the journey, I am a self-sovereign. I am a being who is actually absolutely a, an embodiment of greatness and power and a being that is completely independent and a being that transforms, that transforms, transforms everything that is negative, a being that is absolute inspiration and inspires the world. And that is what I want to become. And that is actually the vision that I have for myself, but also for everyone around me. Um, I'm a powerful being. I'm a being who radiates power. I'm a being that lives in complete contentment and also helps others to become like that. I'm a being who is actually full of light, contentment, happiness. And that is actually my mission. And I'm going to complete this mission. Now, in this life. Om Shanti. Jill, thank you so much for that. Um, it was just amazing hearing the stream of positivity um, as you're going through your meditation process. I like, I like the three things at the start as well as, as a sort of framework, you know, um, attention, inversion and, and practice um, that, you know, part of the meditation practice is its key thing is stepping back from our normal day-to-day -day activities and, and paying attention to what's going on in our thought patterns. And as you say, you, you know, I can definitely relate to that where you, you spot a lot of negative stuff and have to invert it, create a, start actively creating positive thoughts and then practice that. And, and it was just beautiful sh hearing your, your sharing of your positive thoughts because I was feeling um, there was so much benevolence and generosity towards yourself, but also everyone else. And that really comes across in your personality be generous kind gentle very positive and um i think that's that's sort of proof of the pudding and that's really intoxicating that you can see that when we put this stuff into practice it it actually changes our lives in a very positive way would you say that's an okay summary <laughs> I think that's a perfect summary. That, that's really great. I think that uh, always the, in, in everything that we do, there is always this um, prevention, like the, this is like this kind of training. Meditation is a kind of, uh, you know, something that you do to not only prevent, but also to prepare yourself, preparation and prevention. And another thing is this kind of management. So I, I always look at these two things. Uh, management is, is about this technique of having attention, inversion, and practice. And the other thing uh, is, is about basically getting prepared and preventing. So preparation and, pre and prevention. So these are these kind of two things. And the, uh, prevention and preparation is uh, where meditation comes in. And then this other technique is ex extremely, the other technique, sometimes people don't talk too much about it, but it's something that's extremely important in daily, day to day life because you cannot be meditating the whole day, right? That, that, that's also not, not practical. And also th there are some problems. I think you need, you know, you need to balance both. Some people think that they can only attain light uh, through uh, pre basically meditation and then they get a little bit unbalanced there and they become a little bit like you know sannyasis people who want to be meditating all the time because they actually didn't develop this other technique so they mm. cannot deal really with the practicalities of life mm. and then some people because they they, they, they they don't know about the second technique they go a lot into this first technique and mm. of course they go into a spiritual life and they can become very reclusive um, but um, whenever, it, but you cannot be always in, a, in, in meditating. That, that's that's the problem. And whenever something Absolutely. practical arises, which is negative, mm. they get very upset by that. Yeah, so, so it, we have you to need both. Really, yeah, we have to apply it in our 
you can't just think about it we need to actually apply it in our interactions yeah, and, exactly yeah make sure we're, we're putting it into practice what we're thinking about great okay that's fantastic jill um so so happy you could join us today and thank you so much for um all you shared and uh Next week at the same time at nine o'clock, uh, next Friday, we have another um, member of the One Point team, uh, another experienced meditator, Els Broken. And um, Els is going to be talking about the art of letting go. So another one not to miss next Friday. And in the meantime, you'll see on the, the YouTube um, uh, blurb and chat window, there are links to One Point Oneness webpage so you can find out about how to subscribe to the calendar to get notified about future events and also um, there's links to well if you go to the 1.1ness youtube channel you'll find the archive of uh, all the past sessions there so please do share this this resource with your friends family and colleagues there's so there's such a wealth of um, experience on how to meditate how to feel better in there so please do take a look at that so once again, thank you to everyone for, for joining us today. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.